Dr. McQuay, can you share with us the importance of the construction of the outpatient pavilion from a strategic perspective as it relates to the quality of care and the overall patient experience? The thought process behind the uh, pavilion was to expand our current um, offerings to the community. Uh, we have been gradually growing over the last uh, uh, 30 years, which is how long I've been here for, and uh, we've continually outgrown the space. No matter what building we open up, it seems like three or four months after it's open, it's full, and we're looking at creating more rooms inside the building. Uh, we've been uh, sort of landlocked on the current campus, and uh, that's limited us as far as both parking and uh, space availability for physicians and different services of the hospital. So the, the uh, decision to be made was whether we expand in a total different direction or whether we try and do something that's contiguous with the, with the campus. And when the county uh, decided to close its property next door, it seemed like the optimal way to go. And uh, it allowed us to do a land swap with the uh, county for uh, South Arlington property, which benefited the, the Arlington County. And it gave us the contiguous land that we needed to uh, enhance our services. So we embarked into a fairly uh, big enterprise, and uh, not least of which was increased on campus parking, which has been sort of a, um, a continued uh, issue for us to deal with um, just because the number of patients coming here has continually increased. And when you think about all the staff that requires uh, on campus just, just to support the offices and then having the additional space you need to uh, afford parking to the, to the patrons, uh, we kind of reached our maximum capacity. So uh, the, the current project is basically in two phases, the first part of which is going to be the parking garage, and it's going to quadruple our current parking space. And uh, we're going to open that within the next year, hopefully, and uh, that will uh, take a lot of burden off our current parking and really enhance uh, the services we currently provide. And then a year after that will be when the entire pavilion opens up and that will expand all of our outpatient services. As you know, there are uh, capabilities for uh, surgical suites. The first floor is all diagnostic imaging with laboratory services. And then in the upper floors, we'll have room for additional office space for physicians and other services uh, such as an infusion center. Um, we're really looking forward to it. I think it's going to enhance the services we have on campus, not only for the outpatients, but it's also going to uh, open a lot of uh, additional space within the current hospital building, which will allow us to expand our inpatient capability. Uh, we'll have an additional entire floor, which will be another 40 plus rooms to add if we need it. And that's just an example of we're currently opening additional floors right now, and I'm sure as soon as they're open, they're going to be full. So we'll be looking towards the additional space. Dr. McQuay, you serve in two roles here, as a physician, but also as the chairman of the board of the hospital. Can you share with us why you believe it's so important that Virginia Hospital Center remains an independent health system? Y yes, um, the hospital has been independent the entire time that I've been here. When I originally came to the area and looked at different job opportunities in the region, one of the things that attracted me to this hospital was the fact that it was uh, a, a closed uh, shop that we could manage ourselves. It allows us to be more nimble in the way we attack problems that arise, uh, the current uh, COVID crisis being one of them. We're able to adjust the way we do things quickly we're not dependent on a, a higher corporate structure that we have to pass our ideas through. And that allows us to address a problem, discuss it with everybody um, that we need to, and actually implement the changes sometimes same day. Uh, I think uh, that allows us also to have this personal touch that I'm talking about too, and that everybody that works here knows each other. Everybody that works here knows that they can approach anybody in the hospital 
and that allows us to really work on things from a personal perspective. I think not only does it give the patient a feeling of uh, closeness to the staff, but it also allows the staff to have that same closeness with everybody that works in the hospital. That way you develop a team that really cares about what they're doing, that looks for opportunities to improve the care they provide to people, and it has really um, resulted in us having a top-notch uh, medical center that is really valued for the quality we provide to our community. So in closing, Dr. McQuay, what would you tell a community member who wants to be involved to ensure that Virginia Hospital Center continues to grow, continues to innovate, to meet the changing needs of health care for our community? Uh, that's a broad question and there are a lot of capabilities that the community people have that can help our hospital. I think uh, recent events have really shown that and we've had members of the community do everything from sew surgical masks for us to wear to provide lunches for us to, to eat and on a regular basis that occurs. We have people that continually email us and ask us are there things we can do to help out. I think for the people that can afford direct support, that's great. It's certainly appreciated by everybody at the hospital. And I think for those that can provide us financial support, that's also important because in the end, when we go through uh, uh, different challenges like we are right now, it's, it's important for us to be financially stable as well as operationally stable. One of the uh, uh, goals that we set out with this current uh, project is that we wanted to take care of all the acutely ill people, but we also wanted to provide for the uh, non-COVID people that also need medical care and to protect them while they're in the hospital having that care. I think thirdly, though, is we wanted to protect our staff and recognize our staff for all the work they do. We wanted to keep them healthy, but we also wanted to keep them employed. And one of the uh, uh, goals that we set out is to maintain our staff so that they, they would appreciate um, the value of this hospital. They would feel appreciated for the services that they provide. And I'm happy to report that we've been able to do that through this entire crisis, and we've not laid off a single person. Thank you, Dr. Russ McQuay, for your time this afternoon. It was a pleasure to be here, Tony, and I wanted to take the opportunity to thank you as well uh, for all the efforts you've put into informing the community of exactly what's happening here at the hospital and all the interactions you've had with the foundation that help us uh, provide the services that we continue to provide.